name is Simon Baines and I'm the Welsh Conservative candidate for Clwyd South. The, the solution that we offer first and foremost is higher expenditure and we're pledged to increase expenditure on the NHS by um, in real terms each year, each and every year of the next assembly. So that would be uh, inflation plus. And that has been the problem over the last five years because the Labour Party has in fact cut the expenditure at the beginning of the last assembly. And that's obviously had a knock on effect um, to the level of services. So expenditure I think is the core thing. Secondly, we would leave the health service organised as it is. So there would be no further reorganisations um, and no hospital closures either. So that would give stability to the health service, which I think is a big part of it. Um, and then there are specific policies that we want to introduce, such as um, uh, opening um, the uh, minor injury clinics, which would take a lot of the pressure off A&E, and also uh, to set up a, a, a specialist cancer fund of £100 million, um, because at the moment, whilst cancer treatment is extremely good here, and I've heard um, several first-hand uh, accounts of that out on the doorstep, there is more that we can do. And I think the combination of those factors will bring stability, greater revenue to the NHS, which in turn will help um, the waiting times and also the fact that uh, it's quite difficult to recruit GPs and so on. Um, well, we would um, introduce a, a, a support of living um, allowance, um, which would change the way in which um, we, we support the students, but would enable students from less wealthy backgrounds to um, take full um, uh, opportunity um, to go to university and into, into further education. Um, there's a big debate, as, as you know, at the moment on this whole subject. And um, we're not the only political party that feels that we are going to have to change the system as it currently stands in Wales. But to me, um, to ensure that um, the, the young people have every opportunity to go to university or people into higher education is extremely important. And um, we feel that that's a very important part of the Conservative um, manifesto for the future. Well, in um, the in, in Clwyd South, um, we've had a hustings meeting at the Penley Myler School. Um, that is a, a very um, well-performing school. And tomorrow we have hustings at Dennis Brand School in Clangothlin, another very good school. So there's clear, clearly um, academic excellence in Clwyd South. We feel that um, standards could be even higher if we can direct more of the money in education into the schools themselves. And at the moment, because the money's coming through the local education authorities, it does mean that um, about a quarter of the funds is being absorbed into bureaucracy and not going into the schools themselves. So we would move to direct funding of the schools, which would bring greater money into the schools um, to increase academic excellence. Well, I'm, first of all, I'm not a career politician, so I have done other things. Um, I've been a, I was an investment banker for nearly 25 years with um, the UK's leading investment bank, JP Morgan Casnove, and I was a partner or a managing director of that for half of my time there. That gave me a lot of experience of uh, the financial and business world, helping companies, particularly small and medium-sized companies. Um, I grew up in Wales. Um, I grew up at Lake Vernery, where my father ran the hotel. And after I worked um, down in London, I came back with my family 10 years ago and made my life here again. And I've been very much involved in politics, standing for Parliament and the Assembly before, and also as a councillor. And I've also been involved in running a small business, a second-hand bookshop business as well. Um, so I've had quite a lot of experience, and I've also um, run a charity which I set up 
um, about 18 years ago called Concertina, which provides music for the elderly to combat loneliness amongst the elderly. So I think I've got a range of experience um, and I'm very committed to representing the people and their particular needs. I think there's a, there's a lack at the moment of people actually representing the day-to-day -day needs of people. There's a lot about the parties, but not so much about the people themselves. Well, I think one of the um, major issues is the lack of good broadband, which for an area like Cluid South, where there are a lot of self-employed people and a lot of tourism businesses, is a major problem. So that when you go around the constituency, which is very varied, um, you get a very varied level of service. And that actually is a major, major problem to the day-to-day -day lives of people in the area. I think the second thing is the, um, in terms of the high streets, we've seen the banks closing in Rabin and Chirk, which I um, campaigned a lot on. Um, now, some of these things are going to happen, I, I understand that. But I would like to see our high streets strengthened, and that's one of the policies that's very much promoted by the Welsh Conservatives. Um, so that would be an area that of great interest to me. And also, because I grew up in the tourism business at Lake Vernwy, I have a very great interest in that, and I would like to help the tourism businesses in the constituency, which are a big part of the, um, the, the companies and the day-to-day -day life of Cluid South. I would like to really help them um, in, in terms of um, uh, furthering their own uh, reach, in terms of getting visitors in, and also investment. A lot of them need investment um, to expand and prosper in the future. Well, I've got a fairly open mind on this, to be perfectly honest with you. I, I am um, very much in favour of devolution. Um, and um, we, we, as you say, there are powers that, are, that, that will be coming um, to the Assembly. And um, I, I, would give, I would have an open mind to further powers coming in the future. Um, and I think that you will run a country better if you bring the responsibilities and the powers um, and the commitment of people uh, back to the people themselves rather than that being run um, where they see it as being run from far distant um, offices and um, you know, responsibilities. So I, I would keep an open mind about further devolution. Well, the, 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 the fundamental thing that we can do is, which I, I think we've done as a party, is to have a strong economy. Um, and unemployment has fallen significantly in Clued South um, since David Cameron became Prime Minister in 2010. And um, the unemployment is continuing to fall in Wales, as we've seen in the recent statistics. But we can't be complacent about that. And I think that it, that there is plenty that can be done in terms of encouraging people who may have been uh, unemployed for a significant length of time to help them get back into the, to the workplace, uh, to help young people get into the workplace. I think that's extremely important. And that, that requires training, um, helping them to write CVs, encouraging them to do it. And also, as we mentioned earlier on about tourism, um, small businesses is a big part of the employment in this area. So anything we can do to encourage small businesses will have a, a big knock-on effect. I mean, there's that statistic, which I'm sure you're well aware of, that if every small business in Wales employed one more people, there would be no unemployment. Um, so that, that, that is a very important part of how we can help more people get into work. Well, I think that um, the, the more the, the business rates can be closer to the, um, to, to, to the local area, the better, really. Um, I think that ensures that the decisions that are made with the money that um, is, is gathered 
um, through the business rates is allied to um, the needs of the particular community. And I was at a very interesting meeting in Clangothlin recently. It was the town hall meeting at the end of March, which is um, the meeting that the, the town council holds to where the mayor reports on the last year. And they threw it open to discussion, and there was quite a lot of us there at different tables, and we discussed the issues. And this was one of the major issues that came up was business rates and how um, the, the local businesses there would like to see their rates going into the local community in a, in a highly devolved way so that decisions could be made about, uh, in, in Clangothlin's case, about how you would improve aspects of the town, whether it be shop fronts. Um, you could uh, then use the business rates in a way that would enable um, uh, to encourage people to come in so I think there's a great deal that can be done um, in a devolved way with the business rates, certainly. Well, I, I, I think that having met my um, fellow candidates um, at, the, um, at the Penley School um, hustings, um, I don't think there's massive differences between us personally. Um, they all seem to be um, very honourable people who are fighting for what they believe in. Um, and I, I, you know, I can see that they're very committed and, and to their communities and very committed to helping people around them. I think probably that the, the, the key point from my point of view is that I do work very hard and I am very committed to representing the day-to-day -day needs of people, which I do think is somewhat lacking at the moment. Um, in, in my view, in politics, there's the majority of problems that people have need to be solved at a national level, whether it's at a Wales level or a UK level. But there are probably a quarter of the, the problems that they have which can be unpicked by a vigorous local representative who's prepared to chase and nag um, local councils, the assembly, parliament, whatever. And that's something that I've done as a councillor and I'd want to do here. And uh, I, I really do think there's a big gap there. So that's probably the thing that I would um, focus on most. Well, that is a difficult question for me to answer. Um, I, 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 would, I, I would like to just wait and see how the election result turns out. And as you say, we're fighting hard to um, ensure that we um, do as well as we possibly can as the Welsh Conservatives and particularly here in Clwyd South. And at the end of the day, um, the decision is really in the hands of the electorate. I mean, it's they who vote for us. It's not for us to say how the result should work out. It's up to them to, to work out how they would like us to, to perform um, after the 5th of May. I think there's a balance to be struck on this and um, clearly um, what, what, what is being uh, proposed and what has been introduced um, strikes that balance in my opinion. Um, we do have to, we, we live in a dangerous world um, and surveillance does ensure that um, various terrorist outrages can be stopped um, before they happen. Um, and uh, it, it's a difficult subject to talk about because you don't want to tempt fate, but I think it's fair to say that the, 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 the British security system has been reasonably effective in recent years. And um, I have every faith in the Prime Minister and the Home Secretary um, to make that judgment correctly in terms of balancing personal liberties against the security of the country. What it means to me is that it would, um, first of all, um, counterbalance the undoubted um, uh, importance of Cardiff in Wales. And uh, as you know, that's a, a thing that people here include South, Wrexham and elsewhere in the north of Wales are very concerned about. So that's the first thing. 
Um, secondly, it brings a range of um, powers, deregulation, investment, um, as we've seen with the, um, the, the Northern Powerhouse in England. And thirdly, it logically links um, West East, East West to the, um, the, the Northern Powerhouse in England. Um, and so I don't see them as being sort of mutually, um, uh, you know, destructive or mutually opposing each other. They can be mutually beneficial. Um, and to me, the, the, the idea is also an idea in flux, if you like. Um, I mean, a lot of the most innovative um, approach to government is now taking place within the, within the boundaries of the Northern Powerhouse in England, where you've seen in Manchester all the different um, public services pooling their budgets into one, which I think is fascinating. Um, and when you talk to people um, here uh, in, in different public services, that that's the kind of approach they'd like to see. And when we saw the leaders' debate last night, there was almost a widespread agreement that, for instance, health and social services should be much more closely connected. So if the powerhouse can also um, a, a, a achieve that through, through its devolutionary aims, then I think that would be benef very beneficial. But I think a focus on North Wales and all that it has to offer in terms of the economy and business and government would be very, very welcome and frankly long overdue in this country.